in right now, a beautiful stealth. You see CD throwing that Riptide. That was actually an Unleashed Riptide right now, so he's throwing it on himself. He feels like he's going to be the target. Uh, and he very likely will be. I mean, we've seen this RMP just loves to kill those healers. Uh, there's a grounding down, though. Are they going to be able to get it? Yes, there is a dispel on that grounding. Uh, we do see that a Polymorph is going to come out. Uh, looks like it didn't land, though. A uh, Frostfire Bolt coming in onto Tenderloin, but not as much damage as this RMP would have liked uh, here in the opener. You know, Talbotar uh, did have to uh, trinket that blind uh, instantly as well. Yeah, look at Xandon, man. He's really going all out, popping Icy Veins, popping his Anu's cooldowns. And Snut's actually putting Curse of Weakness up on Kuna. He doesn't want him doing as much damage. Full dots on to Kuna right now. Kuna throwing a kidney shot. Looks like he was uh, either missed or something like that, but Sidu took a big hit right there from Xandon. He's at 34%. But look at Zunyaki. He's, pressure. he's getting spiked. He's at 40%. He has to heal himself. And Kuna down to 20% HP. He's trying to get out of there. Uh, both of these players need to be picked back up. And the RMP just committed so much to Tenderloin. But guess what? They didn't get Trinket. They didn't get NS. They did not get Link. Uh, so that could be huge. They are going to smoke bomb onto Stun, so he has no trigger available. There's a cheap shot and the kidney shot. A dance coming out of Kuna, spamming out those uh, backstabs with the rest of his energy. So he's trying to get as much done as he can right here. And Stun is in, in the best spot. C2 is actually uh, re fear warded. A really great timing. I think he's actually going to immune the fear from Zunyaki. Awesome play by Talbotar. Yeah, that was really good. And when that bomb went down, Talbotar ran in and started flash healing. But Xanon is taking a lot of damage right now. Asan's on to Zuniaki. Kuna taking a lot of damage too, man. Look at this spread pressure. It's absolutely insane. Kuna switching all onto Sidu. Throws him in the kidney. Sidu earth shields himself. And if they put him in a blind right now, he won't have an earth shield on their target. But uh, he actually doesn't have a blind. I'm sorry. A hex on to Xanon. Sidu so good. Able to cast those hexes even when he has someone hitting him. But Zuniaki's taking a lot of damage, man. He's at one 60%. Thing, one thing to note, though, Kuna's out of combat. So if he can get a shield, he will be able to get the resell. He does resell, goes in for that uh, cheap shot, but he's unable to get it before the corruption pops him. You know, Zunyaki, although they're taking tons of damage, he is doing a good job conserving his mana. Uh, he's been quite quite good so far. Uh, but, you know, they're playing on the portal, so they have to be careful because uh, we could just see, you know, a, a port over from Snuts. He's going to actually redrop his port in the middle of the map, which I do like. Uh, Sidu's going to pull back. He's probably just going to go for a drink here. And, I mean, Sidu is drinking. He's going to get 100% mana. He hasn't blown a cooldown. Uh, this is incredible play. And there's the dance from Kuna onto Talbotar, down to 65% already. Looks like they're even hitting the Water Elemental, which is very smart for the Shadow play to do. Talbotar running, trying to get the Fear onto Zuniyaki. Looks like he does not get it off. It is still on cooldown, but he had me tricked. He's at 70%, throwing out a Mind Spike. Looks like he probably got kicked on or something. Kuna throws a Kidney Shot onto Talbotar. Talbotar at 50%, he's going to have to disperse. There's a way too much damage. Freeze, though, onto Tenderloin. Are they going to swap over onto him? No, it's just used for CC. There's the Poly, instantly emptied by Talbotar and Zandin in a lot of trouble. He's going to have have to block. Uh, there is a gouge onto uh, Talb, so he can't MD it. He's just going to swap the pressure over onto Zuniaki, getting those dots up. My snuts. He threw a death quill onto Zuniaki, so he couldn't heal the ice block, and it reflected. You said that wasn't a good mana gem. I prove you wrong today, sir. <laughs> look at that. A counter spell coming out from Zuniaki. Here's the swap uh, over onto Tenderloin. This could be huge. They need to get something done. Tenderloin does have to trink it, uh, so at least they've got that cooldown now. Uh, you know, But he's so high on mana. They need to get the pressure rolling. Zuniaki, though, in the meantime, in so much trouble. He's down to 40% HP. In that sounds 30% HP. Catches a shield. A big psychic screen go coming out from Talbotar on all three players. Izunyaki's into the disarm, popping that pain suppression. Uh, he really needs some help from his team here. He's mind controlled though with full dots. Nice mind control from Talbotar. That is not going to be interrupted. Uh, and Zunyaki just barely is going to be able to survive. Get here, back here behind the pillar. But in the meantime, you know, Talbotar uh, is just trying to get those dots up onto uh, onto Zandid, onto Kuna. They have good pressure coming out of Snuts. Uh, Tenderloin is at half HP though. No trinket in bad positioning in the middle of the map here. And he could get shattered. Going to be dropping down to about 40% HP. Yeah, that's rough. You know, Talbotar didn't actually have to help him out too much. I think he threw him a shield, threw him a shield, but that was pretty much it. But there's a spirit link used, uh, and you know now this this shadow play only really has nature swiftness for a defensive cooldown. Obviously, Talbotar does have disperse, but that's really only for himself. Zuniaki is being in trouble. Uh, he he did get uh, he got bombed on there, but he has to disperse. He was eroded. Sidu is deep, so he couldn't get inside there, and the disperse has now expired. So big damage could be coming in here onto Talbotar. He is impacted. There's a full blind onto Tenderloin. He has no trigger. Is he going to get sapped off it because? Uh, tab Talbotar could go down. There's a nice life grip, though, denying that sap. Sheep does land, though. Uh, can Talb get the MD? It doesn't look like he's trying to land the mind control, but he's just going to go down. Wow. That was really rough, man. That, that polymorph on the Zidu is really what sealed the deal. That is going to put the RMP up 1-0 against this shadow play. And my first song of choice is going to be Carly Ray Jepsen, Call Me Maybe. We'll see what I choose. Play right now, this is a definite grudge match. Both teams hate the other. They've insulted them publicly on forums. And uh, on Twitter, they even, like, 
tried to uh, throw eggs at their cars and stuff, and you know that you got to have a pretty strong arm to throw eggs from the U.S. to the EU and vice versa. But these guys can do it. Yeah, they definitely can. Um, so we will see what the opener is going to be here from this RMP. They're going to open up straight onto Tenderloin. There's a blind on Talbot. He's going to trinket that. Uh, throwing out the death, trying to death the poly. Sounds coming out uh, onto Zan. And he's actually just going to trinket that. Kuna's dancing, though. He's uh, into a Hall of Terror. He's doing a lot of damage to Tenderloin, though. Down to 30% HP. The shield does come in. Uh, smoke Bomb going down. Kidney shot used. There's the Ring of Frost as well. If this lands onto, onto uh, CD, which it does, he could get shattered off it. Yeah, and a Frostbolt did go off, but he got knocked out of that, either from a... Uh from just being hit too much by the rogue, probably. But, you know, they didn't really force that many cooldowns out of Cedo. I guess it's not over yet, so I really shouldn't get ahead of myself. But, you know, he's dropping Stone Claw. He's even purging right now, sparing the globals for that. It looks like he should be okay. But oh, didn't get that an Rip sword. got Nova, though. That's so bad. Now he's in so much trouble. He is going to get corroded. Uh, there wasn't Nova on that life grip. On uh, Whether it's intentional or not, Talbotter is going to be stuck into that sheep. Cedo has to trinket to get him out of it. And now, I mean, Cedo's in so much trouble. The Shadow Fiend is popped on him. He's trying desperately to make Yaki. his kicks. Zuniaki also taking a lot of damage. He had a trinket, a quill, and then he got silenced. He's down to 29%, 22%. He's probably going to be able to pick himself up behind this pillar. But, you know, Sidu, he still has Nature Swiftness and Spirit Link. Like I said, man, not too many cooldowns were used. That Frost Nova on that grip was incredible, though. Talbotar having to disperse because he doesn't have a lot of mana. And then another Garrote onto Sidu. Looks like they're just going to train him into the ground this game. And he's stuck in a full kidney shot. There's the bomb. Talbotar can't help him out whatsoever. Uh, Snuts is going to run in there, try to go for the fear, but he tried to decide to decide fake it. And now there's an NS coming out. There's a Divine Hymn from Talbotar, but it's going to be enough. Uh, that does get interrupted. So, I mean, uh, Tenderloin is into a fear. He's going to have to drop that Tremor Totem. Link comes out. Uh, all the cooldowns have now been blown. It's important to note that Talbotar also has no disperse, so it could go onto him with a hard swap. Akuna at the same time. Fully dotted up. Is just going to decide to cloak. Keep the pressure going. And indeed, here is the swap onto Tal. They know he has no disperse. If there's any CC available for Tenderloin, uh, he definitely could be get, able to get a kill. Yeah, man. He's stuck in that full kidney right now. Sidu actually doing decently on mana after being trained for so hard. He's at about 55%. Zuniaki at probably 60%. It's a pretty even fight right there. Sidu, or Talbotar throws out a big fear onto Zandon. Zandon doing great pressure this game, doing incredible damage. And now it's not in a full fear, though. Kuna could be in some trouble. Remember, he has no cloak. Uh, there's no pain suppression available either. And Zuniaki's still stuck in that fear. There's Coex out of it. Nice job by Snuts, you know, delaying uh, the return. And there's a disarm onto Kuna, but he is going to catch some heals, get topped off. Snuts is going to have to port back up top. But, you know, he's in a good spot. Sidu is as well. Sidu's just been so far away from the team. If you look, he's positioned in the center of the bridge. He's getting a drink, and no one is there to stop him. So it looks like he's just going to drink to full mana because no pressure is coming to this RMP. Kuna is going to get away. He's trying to re stealth here. Uh, but we will see, you know, Sidu picked up the eyes, so he will be able to pop him out of stealth. Yeah, and Xanon's pet actually died. He did resummon one, but, you know, that's going to be on cooldown for a little while now. He hasn't used a block, which means he probably won't cold snap for another pet in the event that this one dies, but, you know, not unless they know they're going to get a kill. It isn't always smart to do that, but, you know, it's pretty situational. There's a counter spell from Xandon. Looks like Talbotar is actually going to get Ring of Frosted, but no, he does get out of it. Oh, but a big shatter coming into Talbotar. Uh, he is danced on by Kuna. Xandon's over here with his cooldowns up. He does get feared off by Snot, so nice shot by him. Xandon's going to trinket that, uh, just going hard onto Tenderloin. I think he got kick on that. He's interrupted. He has no NS. He has no link. He might just go down here, catches a shield from Talbotar. Talbotar is going to have to throw out the palm as well, but he is impacted, and Tenderloin's just being trained away on. He's taking so much damage. Uh, you see even more support coming to Talbotar. He's trying to do his best. Zunyaki is fearful on his inner focus. He did trick it into another fear. Nice shot by Snuts. Snuts is blinded, though. Can't help out his team right yet. This is rough, man. All trinkets are down for the RMP, though, so maybe if they can get one big Howl of Terror, it'll let Sidu pick himself back up, and then I want to see them go really hard on the Zuniaki. I feel like that's one way they can get a for sure kill. You know, he doesn't have too many cooldowns. Pain Suppress is coming back up pretty soon, though. He does have his Desperate Prayer and his Barrier, so I lied when he said he doesn't have a lot of cooldowns, but Talbotar is actually mind spiking right now. And, you know, Snuts is doing his best, man, but it, it's so hard when you have such an offensive yeah. team. You really got to spend time peeling, and it's... it's it's important to note, though, uh, Sidu now has his trinket, and his NS just came back up. Link is, is going to be available shortly again, too. So uh, there's the Shadow Dance from Kuna. they got to get something done here. They're going to go hard on his Snuts. He has no trinket down to 50% HP. Uh, there is no CC just yet on the Tenderloin. Snuts is going to swap to that Demon Armor. Good choice, because he's down to 24% HP, catching that Soulburn Hellstone, uh, trying to bait uh, his opponent Kuna off the edge, but he doesn't go for it, so he just uh, jumps down, pours back up. They're going to try to get the pressure rolling on Kuna, who is at 60%. Uh, Tenderloin has that mana advantage because see, they allowed him to drink like 60, 70,000 mana. Yeah, that's a rough situation. Zuniaki did actually just dispel a UA, and it looks like he's going to be getting hit right there. Tabadar stuck in a deep freeze. He might be able to free cast into Zuniaki, actually. 
Zuniaki's in a little bit of trouble, man. He's got full dots on him. Xanon's sitting in a Hex and a Frostshock on Nakuna just being kited by Sidu. Zuniaki then gets Death Coiled at 55%. He uses an Inner Focus, but he gets feared at the end of it. What an incredible fear by Talbada right there. A Polymorph gets casted, but it does get dispelled instantly. He Zuniaki... Did, did spell lock and the Silence, though, so he should be able to cast here. If he's going to be able to get something off, he might be able to live. He's casting that Flash Shield. Great fake there. It's going to keep him alive for now. Uh, you know, Tenderloin is, is being trained right now, but not much damage coming out. There is a Shadow Dance now popped by Kuna. He's going to be trying to get something going. The Grow followed up by the Kidney. A uh, Chatter does come in. Tenderloin has to Trinket. Frostfire Bolt following that up. Uh, remember, he does have his Link available now. He doesn't have NS. He doesn't have Trinket, though. And he might just go down here. Link coming out, but are they going to be able to get in? Yes, they are. Uh, there's a Mind Control on Kuna. Nice job by Talbotar. It is going to be purged off, though. And look at Talb. He's at 50%, 40%, 30%. He's going to be the target here. Does he have Disperse? I don't know. He's down to 20% HP. The Smoke Bomb goes down. He's Kidney. He has to Disperse at 10%. There's a uh, Trinket or something used on uh, Blind. Full on just Tenderloin. He's going to be stuck in this and Disperse has ended. So Talbotar desperately trying to kite out of there. He needs to get away. He needs to land his Flash Shield. But he does get kicked on. He tries to pop a Hellstone, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Silence coming out onto Xandon. Fear landing on both of Kuna and Xandon. So it's barely going to be enough to keep Talbotar alive. You know, Kuna actually blinded the nature swiftness of Sidu, and then it got dispelled, so I'm very surprised that they live with such incredible CC right there. Talbotar really spamming his dispels, trying to get some dots going right now. He tried to death up Polly, but it's actually on Sidu, and now Talbotar down at 30%. He's probably going to go down here. I don't think there's an answer for it. He's trying to heal himself. He gets kicked, so he starts mind controlling, and that's really the only thing he can do. He does get the mind control off onto Kuna, looks But is like. it going to be enough? Because there's a deep freeze onto Tenderloin. It's going to be MD'd by Talbotar, though. He's trying to go for that flash. He was stuck into that full Kidney, there's another smoke bomb. Tenderloin isn't able to get in just yet. He's running in desperately. Uh, but there was a hex used on Xandon, so not that much damage came out on that smoke bomb. Awesome defensive play uh, by Tenderloin, being able to get that hex off there. Uh, but Water Elemental is back up, so there's going to be a lot of damage coming out of this mage. Uh, he's going to have the fingers available. And, you know, Zed is pretty much um. Zunyaki is as well, though. Uh, so what's going to happen here? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, Xandon is going to be the target. It looks like uh, Snuts is trying to get something going. Yeah, man, this is a rough situation for both teams right now. You know, they did do really well against Talbotar and Sidu right there. They forced a lot of stuff, but their entire team is at 100% now, this Shadow Play team. And there's another deep onto Talbotar, but it's a Garrote onto Sidu and a Cheap Shot onto Sidu. He's going to take a lot of damage. He gets an Earth Shield up right before the Kidney he's, Shot. He's kidney too, and he's stuck in the middle of the Ring of Frost. A big fear comes out, though, and no one can remove it. So Xanon could be in some trouble because Zunyaki's stuck in that full. Xanon's down to 30% HP. He's going to be uh, blinking away. He's trying to get some damage in on, on Tenderloin. They don't want to let him recover. Uh, because Manatide is back is back up uh, pretty shortly here, I, I do believe. Uh, but, you know, NS is coming up soon, too. Uh, Tenderloin now has his trinket available, but he's so low on mana. If, if a burn was able to come in or something, but Xandon might just go down here, down to 25% HP. He's in double death range, catching that penance, though. It's going to pick him back up. Uh, CS did come out, and Tenderloin now down to 20% HP. He's going to have to trinket that 10% HP. Pops the tremor. Uh, Tendal Talbotark, though, can't help him out whatsoever. He has no mana. He throws a shield, but that's all he has. The NRS comes out from Tenderloin, but he's completely tapped. He's getting trained. He's stuck in that Nova. Can't even dismell himself. He's, uh, Talbotar actually has to disperse for mana right there, not even when he's getting hit, and now Tal or Sidu, I'm sorry, is actually incredibly low on mana, 50% HP, and this RMP looks like they're just going to tunnel him until he hopefully dies, and now Xanon is taking a little bit of damage, he throws a deep onto Talbotar, there's a Garot onto Sidu, he's unable to dispel it, we have to see some peel coming oh, from Oh, he's definitely right going to go down here, I feel there's a full kidney shot, 10% HP, Mind Spike's coming in, that's the kill. Tenderloin will go down, and this shadow play is going to be falling to 0 and 2. And I mean, can they do the comeback once again? They'll have to win three straight, uh, you know, for the second time in two days. And I don't know. I mean, uh, this RMP is playing so well. They've clearly adapted to the strategies uh, that this shadow play has chosen. So uh, it's going to be rough, man. So All it's right. going to be uh, Snuts on the Warlock, Talbot are on the Shadow Priest, Tenderloin on that Resto Shaman going against Zuniaki on the Priest, Sandin on the Mage, Kuna on the Rogue from the RMP. We see MDs coming out, but Talbot are does get sapped. Are they just going to open up on this Tenderloin? I do believe they will. There's the Cheap Shot on this Tenderloin. Uh, Xanon coming in here, dropping down the Frost Orb, uh, throwing out the Ice Lances, a nice Psychic Scream comes out. We see Trinkets from both uh, Zunyaki and Xanon instantly. There was a Fjord, I believe, on Kuna, so he was able to sit through that blind coming out on top, but are going to force the Trinket there. Snuts had to Trinket a Psychic Scream, uh, so already, you know, every Trinket is pretty much gone besides uh, Kuna's and Tenderloin. Uh, we see a Shadow Dance going to be coming out of Kuna. He's going to drop the Smoke Bomb as well. He's going hard on a Snuts. Snuts might just go down here, 20% HP, 10% HP, 5% HP, 4% HP, and Snuts is gone. Wow, man, and that's going to be a quick... 3-0 victory. Avril Levine, girlfriend, is my final choice, but that really was a quick game, man. That happened in about... Actually, looking at the timer now, it's just now at 52 seconds. That was one of the fastest games we've seen, and now Team AG uh, with Snuts is actually going to have to go down into the loser's bracket, and hopefully 
come back up and try and fight this RMP again. You know, they they are still trying it out right now, but I don't think they have a chance, man. You yeah, know, with Tal- only Talbotter. a shattered. Talbotter does like to fight it out in these situations. I, I think it's just. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no real way that he's gonna come back here. Uh, I'm sure he knows that, but he he still wants to try. Uh, Sidu is gonna be stuck into that uh, sheep. It's gonna be MD Vital, but yeah, I mean, it's it's rough. Like, um, but that's the danger, you know. Like, I'm not sure. It was it's not it's not probably willed that willed that first fear. He probably didn't trinket it. So I mean, he probably just willed that, and then uh, trinket's still on that shared cooldown for 45 seconds, and because he didn't have it available, I think. Senderloin was just Novit or something. I'm not really sure, but you know, Snots was a little bit split. They were able to swap over to him, uh, get a shatter off. You know, everything kind of went right there for the RMP, and everything went wrong for the shadow play. As far as you know, big crits came in. Uh, they weren't able to stop anything. They didn't have the trinkets available. Uh, and although Sidu, you know, had his, his link and everything like that, he couldn't get to Snuts in time. That smoke bomb was down, so uh, there was really nothing they could do. Yeah, man, that's really rough. You know. Um I really like this shadow play. I'm a little sad to see them go down. I really hope they do well in the losers bracket, for sure. They're gonna have to fight that KFC, so uh, that's gonna be some good games. But you know, with Sidu dying now, it's just up to Talbotar. We'll see what happens. But um, let's see. So you do have to sing. The options are Carly Rae Jepsen, Carly Maybe. Uh, well, you're gonna have to drop Avril, it. I'm not singing. Avril Lavigne, girlfriend, and Justin Bieber. 